Then I will give Liz Truss every chance as Prime Minister, indeed I have. Her economic package with Kwasi Kwarteng, OK, the markets may not like it, but at least it's something conservative for the first time in decades. However, the day Boris resigned, I was told by a wealthy friend that the big guys had got together at White's Club and decided they wanted Liz Truss as Prime Minister. Why, I naively asked, did the big money want Liz Truss? Well, the answer was she'd be very easy to manipulate and we've seen it in the last 24 hours her announcement that immigration legal immigration into the uk is going to increase not decrease with so-called skilled workers many coming from the indian subcontinent tells you she's doing the bidding of the big money because what they want is cheap labor never mind that the riots in leicester and birmingham were said by both the hindu and Muslim communities to be caused by people who had recently come from the subcontinent. But don't worry about that. Don't worry about the Brexit promises. Don't worry about the fact that millions won't vote for you at the next election. She's done her bit by the big money. I see this as a complete betrayal of what Brexit voters wanted. How Suella Braverman can carry on as Home Secretary, given what Truss has said, I do not know. I promise you this. There's a huge electoral price to pay.